Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be talking about the basics of floating point numbers in context of deep learning. So in deep learning, we often hear the term flops or FP32, FP64 or FP16 and the flops representing floating point operations. So all these are uh, representing the computational cost of your model, okay, the amount of memory it will take while you are storing a model, FP32 and FP64 are uh, takes around 8 bits, 16 bits, uh, not 8 bits, it's 8 bytes, okay, 8 bytes and uh, 16 bytes. So these automatically when you have a greater uh, flow, more number of bits, automatically the size of the model will increase. So we also have to uh, make note of things like how you store your parameters in your model and uh, try to efficiently maintain the precision of the model while you're calculating or performing uh, floating point operations. So in this video, what we'll understand is, we'll understand the basic in terms of what is floating point number is and uh, how at the, at the root level, okay, how each of these floating point numbers or decimal points will help you to what improve the precision of your representation of a number on how it will reduce the memory, okay. So, we know that uh, the computers run on zeros and ones and floating point numbers are nothing but we turn that into uh, zeros and ones and try to improve the bits such that we can reduce the memory, okay. So a floating point number contain, contains uh, a sign bit and then exponent, a yeah, biased exponent or a mantisa. Mantisa is the decimal part of it and the biased exponent is the uh, integer part of it and sign represents the positive or negative. So consider we have a floating point numbers 1.625, how we will convert that into binary. So 1 is the integer part which is turned as in binary format as 001 or just 1. And the 0.625, what we have to do is we keep multiplying with 2 unless the fractional part becomes 0. Okay, so first we multiply with 2, we get 1.25, where the integer is 1 and the fraction is 2.5. Again, we multiply with 2, we get 0.5, and then again we multiply with 2, we get 1.0, where the integer part is 1 and the fractional part is 0. So we combine all the integer part and we get our decimal uh, binary representation of the uh, decimal part and then we combine the both the integers and the binary and the decimals binary and we get uh, 1.625 as 001.101 in binary. So we can also move the decimal point okay to move it to left hand side okay the number of uh, digits passes through we have to multiply with 2 power that number of digits. In this case if you are moving by 3 digits on the left hand side you are multiplying with 2 power 3. And in the second case, if you are uh, moving it by the two digits on the right hand side, you multiply with 2 power minus 2. So that's how you move a decimal point in a floating point number at bit level. Okay. So what we'll now understand is there is something called as normalization in floating point numbers. So that is implicit explicit normalization and which tells you how you move your decimal point. Okay. Why do we do normalization is it helps you to what efficiently represent a floating point number such that when you are performing operations on floating point, okay, it should be a standard format, okay, standard way of multiplying. Otherwise, the floating point number can get mismatched or it may be what, uh, overflowing in some cases or underflowing, okay. So we have to make it into standard format such that we do, that's why we do normalization, okay. So first, let's talk about what is explicit uh, normalization is. So we move the decimal point to the left hand side of the most significant bit. So in this case 101.101, okay, the most significant bit is the first one what we see in the left hand side. So we move it to the left hand side of the most significant bit. So that's why we move it to the 0 0.1, okay, that is your most significant bit, you have to move it to the left hand side of it, okay. So for that again as we learned right how we move the decimal point we have to multiply with 2 power some number. So in this case, we have to multiply with three numbers because the uh, decimal point has moved three numbers through three numbers. So it is 0 0.101101 into 2 power 3. This is explicit normalization. And there is something called as implicit normalization where you move the decimal point to the most significant bits right hand side. 
okay in this case 1.0 okay not 0 0.1 1.0101 so here we are moving by two digits so we are multiplying with 2 power 2 so uh, what as i said earlier right okay if you have increased position means like uh, for example in the first point it is given 0 0.00101 into 1.01 okay so here we are representing by what around five decimal points or five bits okay into we turning that into two bits okay and then there is a standard representation okay every number will have then once you do normalization every number will have its mantissa into base which is two and then you will have exponent which is minus three okay so that's the uh, standard way of representing and you always can or after you do normalization you can represent the number in standard format okay you can uh, represent 0 0.01 into 2 power minus uh, power 3 and 1.0 into 2 power 1 can be represented as 1.0 into 2 power 1 so these are like standard format right once you do standardization you can have a unique representation for a number now uh, what will happen now till now what we have talked about is the floating point aspect okay now what about the exponent which is your integer part so the integer should be able to represent both negative and positive sign okay so floating point number uses something called as biased exponent where you do something called as original exponent which is your 2 power minus 3 or minus 2 or 2 power 2 2 power 3 okay and then plus constant bias you add something called as constant bias to it for example okay you have fp32 okay it uses 127 as constant bias So let's see, uh, now let's talk about, till now what we have seen is we have talked about the floating point, uh, decimal aspect of a floating point number. Now let's talk about the integer part. So you have something called as exponent, which is nothing but your 2 power minus 3, the minus 3 part or minus 2 or 2 power 2 or 2 power 3. Okay, so these are your exponent 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, all these are exponents. So. Uh, floating point number uses biased exponent which is nothing but an original exponent plus constant bias for example okay if you have fp32 it uses something called as 127 as a constant bias so how did it arrive at 127 right so you have that is a formula called as 2 power k minus 1 uh, whole minus 1 okay here in this case 2 power k k is nothing but 8 that is 2 power uh, 8 minus 1 that is 2 power 7 then you minus 1 on top of it, you will get 127. Similarly, you will get a different value for uh, FP16, FP64. Okay. For example, yeah, let's go deep right. In single precision floating point format, 32 bits, the exponent is represented by 8 bits. Okay. So you will have first sign bit, then the biased exponent is 8 bit, and the rest of the bits are taken by uh, Mantissa. Okay. To allow positive or negative exponent, okay, without using a sign bit, a, a bias bit of a bias of 127 is commonly added, which is the definition of biased exponent. So, what will happen is the exponent value of zero is represented by 127, and if you have a negative exponent, then it will be represented by 126, and a positive exponent can be represented by 128 okay uh, let's see fp32 mantissa is 0 to 22 okay and exponent bit is 23 to 30 and sign bit is 31 now let's see hence the exponent are converted to binary and stored as 8 bits in the exponent portion okay so a floating point number of 0 0.15625 okay 0 which is 0 sign bit is 0 because the number is positive okay next we convert the mantissa part into uh, the binary format so which we have seen earlier so you get uh, for uh, 0 0.15625 we get 0 0.00101 that is your uh, what you call it the mant is a part of your binary representation so we can normalize so in this part right we have this we got the binary now we have to normalize so by default implicit normalization is done okay so in this case, we have to move the most significant bit right hand side. The decimal point we have to move it to the right hand side of the most significant bit. So we will be getting 
1.01 into 2 power minus 3 after normalization which is equivalent to 1.01 into 2 power minus 3 and uh, we write down the sign bit and the normalized mantissa is 1.0 power one, uh, zero 01 and bias exponent uh, is nothing but 2 power minus 3 okay so as i just told right so you have mm, uh, 1 into 1 plus mantissa into 2 power exponent minus bias okay so that represents what we saw earlier read right? 1.01 into 2 power minus 3 so that is the uh, definition here 1 power s yes, which is the sign bit into 1 plus mantissa into 2 power exponent minus bias the standard way of representing so once that is got once we get that right you have exponent of minus 3 in this case for this binary equivalent you have 1 minus 0 0.1 into 2 power minus 3 so the exponent is minus 3 the constant bias is 127 we get 124 in decimal now which is converted to the binary format using this uh, traditional formula which we do in schools right so 124 is again divided by 2 62 62 31 15 the remainder is 1 then 7 remainder is 1 again remainder is 1 again remainder is 1 and 1 uh, 1.1 1. Uh, 1 is the quotient so this is 7 bits it is totally taking 7 bits so we add uh, since it's 8 bit we uh, add 0 to it with the prefix we add it so the final floating point number is 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 this is the representation of uh, exponent in a, of a floating point number okay so the point to be captured here or to be understood is how we are able to uh, reduce the number of uh, bits required for a specific uh, number right floating point number so that is the important point or key takeaway from this particular uh, example what i am talking about okay so by doing this we are trying to reduce the number of uh, bits required and we are also maintaining the precision okay precision of the floating point number without uh, causing any loss or change in too much 